Good afternoon, friends. Miss Janet here, and I am very excited to share with you our very next selection on our children's book club. It's called A Rover's Story, and we're going to be meeting on May the 11th, uh, which is a Thursday from 4 to 5, and we will be meeting again on Thursday, May the 25th, from four to five again, and we're going to be discussing this very exciting book called A Rover's Story. The first day. I am not born in the way humans are, but there is a beginning. Beeping, bright lights, a white room filled with figures in white hazmat suits. So much information to process, but I can handle it. I awake to knowledge. My circuits fire, the room cheers, a loud sound, but it doesn't startle me. I am not built for startling. I have been built for observation. In the sea of unknown figures, I focus on a face. I do not know if I have a face. Well, if I do have one, my information suggests it is not like this one. This face has what humans call lips. The human lips curl upwards. Uh, a smile. I cannot smile. This I know. But somehow, I understand the significance of this expression that I am learning. My mission has begun. I am built to collect and process information. That is how I learn. Here is some of the information I have collected. I am what is referred to as a robot. Most of the other beings around me are called humans. All the humans I interact with wear hazmat suits. This is to prevent microbacteria and dust particles from entering my environment. It is very important for my mission that I am kept in a sterile and clean environment. Well, for some reason, that I do not quite understand yet, humans call the white hazmat suits they wear bunny suits. Hmm. I do not know what a bunny suit is. I frequently wonder about the possibilities. Most of the humans in bunny suits are what humans term scientists. So this I have deduced is a subset of human. Perhaps I am a subset of a robot, but I have not encountered enough robots to know for sure. Uh, 